Hello and welcome everybody. Let's jump right in. No long talk. All right. How to do these videos. Let's take a look at the first picture that you see in the fade up. See, there's a whole bunch of things going on because this is an image video. This is not a footage video. There's actually only one piece of footage in it. Uh, first thing you're going to see is, see that there is moving fog going on? Here's a, uh, that's definitely not in the image, but it becomes part of the image. See? See, the outside, first of all, there's a whole bunch of things going on that make this picture come more alive. Let me show you the intro. First of all, you're going to notice, notice that this text, which is typing itself into the screen, comes closer, right? That's important. It's not just a static. It doesn't sit there. It moves towards you. See how that smoke just rolled in through this picture? This is done with a uh, something I found online. It's just called PB um, uh, Smoke Effects. It was free. It was, it was 10 smoke of different smoke effects. This is a ground or fog effects, a ground smoke, ground fog. Uh, it helps if you use fog, if it's made, uh, created out of smoke and you want to make it look like fog, it's a good idea to blur it and slow it down, slow it like literally down to 20% if needed. You're going to see this a lot in this video. This has created a lot of, uh, oh, how would you call it, like somber texture uh, and um, an emotional impact that this has. Okay, the, let me turn the picture below back on. By the way, the fog, if we look at the opacity, it's only present at 33%, right? So it rolls in under the letters. Take a look at it again. There's the fog coming in, see? It just shows up like a ghost out of nowhere. So it starts with zero opacity and then fades in. That's done with the opacity slider over here. You can, of course, automize all this. Really important. Moving on. So now the image comes to full light. So what do you see here on the image? You see that the corners of it are blurred, but the center is clear. The image without the blur effect looks quite a bit different. Let me turn the focus blur off. That's called a focus blur. See, when I turn that off, here's the picture in full clarity. That's nice, but you can begin kind of, you can take a blur transition, which makes the image really obscure and really mysterious looking, and then fade into the picture at greater clarity, but leave a focus blur plugin on the image itself. So that's what I've done, which leaves the center of the image clear. So now I'm fading the, the you can actually see that the focus blur up here fades out. Let's play from here to there and watch what's up happening up here in the focus plugin. This is all automized. See how it goes backwards? As this goes down to zero, now you have a fully clear image. But the thing we've done also, this is actually not a monochrome image. It's, uh, it has col full color. It's a beautiful image we found on uh, unsplash.com. I think it was unsplash.com or Pixabay. Those are the two free websites I mostly work with. Um, and this one Marsha found, and she loved it, and I, said, and I agree with her. I said, this is a gorgeous image. So take a look real quick. What's happening now in the next step is Marsha's face, the artist. She's fading in, All right? So this is just an overlay. And you can see also this is somehow softened. It's got a very low opacity. Let's take a look at it. Yep, again, about 36%. There's an underlay. The same image is present underneath. I forgot why I did that. Uh, yeah, this one's clear, and this one's smoother. Yeah, this has a vignette on it. See, so you don't see, like, the hard edges of the image right over there. And um, you can change the fall off. See, right there, so you can just take more or less of it. I just wanted a little bit of the T-shirt, but you could, we could have even done this. Right. And then we turn the other image on to strengthen the definition of the image. So it's a mix between a clear one and a slightly blurred one. All right, next up. Aha, now we're fading, and this is, you can see that this is a blur fade into the next image. It makes a completely smoky transition between those two images, while, as you can see, the face shot, Marsha's face shot, stays present in, and, and slowly fades out. So you can see this ghost of an image remaining. See, that's really cool looking right there. So in total, it looks like this. Sometimes. 
Some red and hail held its breath too long. Winter looked the same. Super smooth transition. As if it never had gone. Aha. Uh -huh. And what do you see there? Now, this is really interesting and also very, I think it's going to be helpful to you. If you want to get mood in these pictures, you see, this is already an image of um, morning fog, morning mist, rolling across this gorgeous landscape. An open but you see, there's movement here. And that's also done from, with the smoke effect. Let me shut the picture off below. Here we go. See, that's what's on top of it. No curtain. But... The, it's not just an overlay. The way we laid, layered this on top is done in what they call subtract mode. If we turn this to normal, this is how it looks in normal. Subtract mode makes it dark and ominous and beautiful. Look at that. Right? So, and it, since it keeps rolling, and we're, of course, doing a little Ken Burns effect on the image, so it comes closer. So you always have the feeling that things never static. And static is pretty brutal. If you look at anything that really sits there, You'd be surprised. So here's the transition. Look the same, as if it never had gone. Through an open window where no curtain hung. See again a blurred transition. It just makes it just just this wash uh, going across the screen. I saw you. See, there's this little puff of smoke from another smoke effect right there coming across it as it rolls in. I saw you. And the same thing with this, this fog, it, fog is done as an overlay, which also has a different response, uh, responds different and creates a different effect that if you were to just go to normal. See, this is the overlay when it looks in normal. That looks kind of fake. But if you do it as an overlay like this, see, it just in integrates itself in that picture. I saw you. And I so wish we could do this with audio, that audio is not just layering things on top of each other, so that A and B doesn't make AB, but it makes C. It creates a completely different result, sometimes unpredictably different. So move on. I saw you. Uh -huh. See, we're blurring. The smoke, however, stays clear. Coming back to me. See, there's a tiny little bit this tiny little puff of smoke comes up in the center that wraps itself around the center of the next image. Oh, you. Coming back to me. And now the next thing happened by accident. Watch what happens. One begins to read. This one was not intentional. This is the original brightness of the shot. That's how bright it was. But having the overlay over it in uh, in um, or the smoke laid on top of it in overlay mode made it really dark and ominous. And as I'm fading that smoke out, the natural brightness of the image comes and it works with the music. Look. Coming back to me. One, two, three, four. Boom, the mood changes. So just changing the lighting changes the mood. Again, the image isn't static. You can see there's a Ken Burns on it. Next image, again a blur, crossfade. Shape of sleepy music. There you go. See that just, it doesn't just blur things, it creates a new texture in which your eyes can rest for a moment and get ready to the, for the take next image in. Suddenly you're hooked through the ray. This image trees, also fades in. The kisses. There's nothing the else specially done with it. Crossfade, take a look at this next gorgeous image I here. Saw Now we're fading backwards, so we're not moving into the picture, we're moving out, so we're giving the landscape more dimension. I saw you. And since it's in black and white, it has a completely different emotional impact than the colored warm images before. Coming back to me. Again, a blurred transition. Excuse the gardeners outside. My God, it's Tuesday, the gardeners are in. You came to stay, live my way. Same thing here. This image has smoke on top of it, see? And this particular smoke was done in uh, actually normal blending mode. It's just added on top. That seemed to look right for this picture. You came to stay, live my way. 
See, that's just a little bit of smoke visible right over here in this area. And it adds motion to the picture. Scatter my love like leaves in the wind. This is you probably the, the most dramatic effect that smoke had on the picture. We have two layers of, of fog on top of it, and they all move in different ways. See how dramatic that colors the image. Let me turn this off and watch, show you what this, the shot underneath really looked like. Look, that's the shot. Different, right? Completely different. This is a beautiful shot, but it's normal looking. Turn both of these things on. You always See, this creates a completely different emotion, doesn't it? You won't go away. See how that highlights that dark uh, cloud, or this, this cloud bank, which is in the old picture, which is slightly dark, but this particular overlay mode makes it so strong. And, and and foreboding. But I know what it always has been. Now this is real footage that Marsha found. Um, and of course, you know, trying to find the right video footage is difficult and can be expensive. This, I think this clip was about $79 or something like that. So it was really worth it. Beautiful shot from the cliffs. And as the fog in this uh, footage clears you can actually see some birds here at high res it's really nice it was only about a 21 megabyte file surprisingly effective footage look has so as the music settles in next verse the and the fog clears the so it just works with the music see that I've tiny little speck of the bird down here right there it's just amazing that that could be detectable in 21 megabytes of footage is astounding. I've been there before. All right, shifting over to the next shot. Again, in rhythm. See, this is done in rhythm. I realized One, two, three, four. See how smooth that lands in the pictures. And as the picture settles in, the shot, there is two layers of fog on top of it. This shot is particularly interesting. You see, this is this is the real shot that we drew from, strongly blurred. But see, as I scroll backwards, the man in the middle of the image disappears. The reason why that is so, it's very simple. Uh, let me just turn this off. These are two shots. I just copied the first one and the second one, exported the shot with the man in the picture, into my photo software, which in this case is GIMP. I just created it, rubber stamped the man out, and then now we're fading, seeing this across, a blur across fade, and a good bit of layer of, of fog into this next shot. Look how it flows. Could have been anyone. Also again, ding, ding. Boom, that's where the crest of this new picture lands, where it becomes clear. Oh, I saw you. No man, here is his appearing. It looks almost like he's walking. I saw you. And fade out, look. Coming back to me. Isn't that beautiful? It's that shot sets you free because we're now been like all of a sudden, look, blur, transition, no more smoke or fog. And at first, it's heavily blurred from the transition, but there's also a focus blur around it. You can see the center of the image being clear, and this now slowly uh, fades down. The focus blur fades away. And now we're really clear. So we get to enjoy this shot. By the way, you may notice that there's a little pathway over here on that little hill. There was a person sitting there. I rubber stamped her out. It's pretty good, right? So there's uh, transitions with different uh, types of overlays in here. A lot of Ken Burns. And there's also photo treatment. Things like these are really effective. They just are subtle, you know, but they're, they're, they create an emotional response. Once again, look at the transition here. Coming back to me. 
getting clearer. Uh -huh. Into our very last shot. And this is again, you see an overlay of smoke or ground fog rolling across. Again, in a very effective blur transition. See that there's, it's moving around there, there. Bring, and it's Ken Burns also moving towards you. And we're fading out. Okay, good. Now the volume is coming back up. See, scrolling credits while the layer of smoke stays over, so it allows you to hold on to the atmosphere, to the vibe, for a little while longer. And then we're blending in a Marsha's picture, one more time, artist picture. And that's going to stay to create a little bit of a more dimension for the fade out. And then we had to do a good bit of tricking to do this effect, that actually the scrolling image stays, uh, just scrolls to a certain por portion of the video and then stays uh, uh, static. And the only way you can do that, there's no control for the scrolling credits in F Final Cut Pro to say, okay, scroll at this point and now stop. There's no such thing. What you actually have to do is to create a, uh, take all the shots that comprise this particular image, uh, uh, this or this particular uh, scrolling credit effect, this whole layer, which is the artist shot underneath, there is the scrolling credit itself, and a layer of smoke, and turn them into a composite clip. And at some point, uh, the composite clip, when you want it to stop, like we did over here, at this point, you just freeze the frame. Right there, once again, coming up, and it's going to stop within a second here. The freeze frame occurs now. So, and then, obviously the video, see, now we're fading the whole thing out, and now we're to black. That's the whole thing. That's how it's done. Hope that was insightful for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're seeing this on YouTube. If you've seen it on Facebook, just say hey. Uh, and let me know if you uh, found this inst instructional, inspirational. And you can do these things yourself. The footage costs nothing because it's on uh, on uh, royalty-free or on free websites such as unsplash.com or pixabay.com. Those are the two we drew this image from. I forgot where Marsha got the footage that might have come from Shutterstock, you know, the actual one piece of footage with the drone shot over the cliffs. That's it. Um, if you would like me to do a video like that for you, uh, hit me up. Uh, personal message. Uh, that's the whole deal. Hope all is well. Stay safe. Stay healthy.